You all right there, Moosey? Hey. Is that a Morning. Welcome back, lads and ladettes. What a crappy morning it is, but yeah. We had six mil overnight. Yeah. I was gonna say that, uh, so yeah, I'll explain a bit. But I was gonna basically come on here quickly because my used journey don't walk towards me when I've got dogs. These are the five-year-old triplets and they were coming from halfway along that fence line up here. So today's mission, or this morning's mission, will be um, trying to get them onto triplet sheep nuts. Um, I've got my troughs out here. Moose has got the zoomies. Scooby's just being needy as always. And um, yeah, I've got a bag of nuts. I'm not gonna put the full bag out because it's just gonna be a waste if it rains. Um, I've got a wee bucket, I'll put a handful in each trough, round them up, push them up, and hold them there for, you know, whatever. So they sniff at it, and then pretty much come back at lunchtime and do the same. Um, last year I held them in the yard. I think I've got some footage of that, that I never got doubt. Um, with silage and the nuts on top of the silage. That worked well, they are only in there for two, three days, and I put them out and it did the trick. Um, but this year I'm rebuilding the, the sheep yards and yeah, it's a bit wet. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much, I was just laughing of, um, because you's journey don't come to me uh, with the dogs here. And they were, so these were fed triplet nuts last year. I wonder, have these been triplets last year that know what the nuts is when the herd seen the troughs coming. That's one for, for people to think about or talk about. If you mark, if I, if say, if I tag these with number tags this year as triplets, well, these are going next year right enough, but if I did the next stage, um, would, how many percentage of them would get back two triplets the next year. <laughs> you know what I'm getting at? Because I'm getting more triplets this year. <laughs> There's a quarter of me flock are triplets. 500 ewes are triplets this year. Pretty much. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of lambs. But yeah, that's something to think about. Are the, because these would have been four year old triplets last year. I wonder how many have got back in lamb with triplets again this year. That's one for you to think about. Then I, I'll get the meal out here and pretty much try and get a dog around them. Will I go Jed? Not yet. Will I go Jed? Get up here. Good boy. Good boy. Um, yeah, send a dog around and uh, get them onto us here and we'll soon see if any of them stuck their head down or not. Might need to put uh, half a bag out today. <laughs> Open. Right, so, bit of a bucket out. Be about a third of a bag, probably. Now I'll hold on to my pup and try and send Jed around.
And here's the rain. I'm getting caught out short. I don't have any wet belly gear. <laughs> yeah, the old brat. She gave me trouble coming down here. She's gonna give me trouble too, so I'm gonna have to go around them. It's just taking a bit longer. Will I go, Jed? Stay there. That's the guy. Generally ones like that, if you if they stop on you and face you, if you get them looking the right way and walk away, they'll um, they'll think that they're getting away from you and they'll start to go. Um, otherwise they'll lay down and they just won't, they'll sulk. That is the joys of having sheep. You get the odd sulky one. Especially in the hills and they're pain in the ass because you can never get to them where they sulk. At least on the flat she can. And you know, I, she's catching up to them, it's good. I'll um, let her catch up with the mob and then she'll feel a lot better. I see she's got an abscess on the side of her foot that's burst, so that's probably why she's, she's lame. She might be a different one that's giving me trouble because she wasn't. The one that gave me trouble when I was bringing them down into the paddock wasn't, uh, wasn't lame, so. You get that. But yeah. They, um, they're in pretty good nicks there. This year. Even with it being so wet and the grass, not much feeding in it, but they're looking good. The now she's uh, nearly running to the mob. And um, yeah, these sheep are going over that way, so it'll be interesting to see if they do or not. I won't push them too hard, so they stay there. And I. I'll hop on the bike and get going. Get in behind. So I see a few of them are sticking their heads down, so obviously they're returning trumpets, but um, yeah, I'm a bit away from them, but they're just looking at me. I'll sit here for a few minutes if it doesn't get too wet. And they're stacking their heads down netting at them. I can see them. Will I go, Max? Will I go, Jed? Will I go, Jed? Get in behind, Jed. Stay there. No, oh, no, Jed. Mouse. Will I go, Jed? Will I go, Max? Will I go, Max? Will I go, Jed? Good boy. Jed. 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 Good boy, stay there. Good boy. Stay there. But yeah, it took a few days for them to get on to last year. Last year was the first year, so. Um, holding them in the yards helped, but. Uh, yeah. Not done it this year, so. There you go. If you going for it. Once they know it's there and get on to it, they'll soon, uh, they'll soon come running. Last year they came running once they heard the bike coming into the paddock, so, which is good. There you go. They're into it. They're wanting to. They're just scared of me because they're not used to me sitting here. Right, I'll leave them at it, because um, they'll be, they're all looking at us rather than looking at the trough, so we'll, I'll get out of their hair. I've got five cattle I want to put into the ram paddock, so um, I'll do that on the way back up, and we'll come back after lunch and uh, push these back up to it again. Bring the meal with us in case of, um, in case of, uh, I don't know. I would doubt it, but anything is possible. Will I go, Jed? Will I go, Jed? That'll do. Will I go, Jed? That'll do. That'll do, Jed. Will I go, Jed? That'll do, Jed. Will I go, Jed? Will I go, Jed? Will I go, Jed? That'll do, Jed. Good boy. Good boy.
that'll keep them happy for winter. They're, oh, they'll be carry over cattle pretty much. Oh. Um, they'll be carry over cattle pretty much. They'll, uh, they'll have woody tongue and stuff during summer. They were light, they've picked up a lot since then. Um, there were six of them, but one didn't get that bad. And that's actually got away on the truck, thankfully. But yeah, um, plenty of rough tucker in here to do them for most of winter now. They'll do in there for a month or two, I you know, at least. Um, and I'll get them down on the flats early in spring and they can get away. There's only five, so it's not too bad. I've got about 18 left to, to fatten up to go and that'll be it. So yeah, it's a tramp across me damn wall. <laughs> oh. Could have picked a better day to be looking, lying here and gazing into the sky, but um, this lassie here must have thought it was a great day to be, um, yeah, stargazing or, I don't know, waiting for the sun to sun bathe their belly or something, I don't know, but there wasn't much sun today, eh, lassie? Right, there you go. Oh, 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 steady yourself. Steady yourself now, we'll roll you over. Come on, roll you over that way. Steady, steady. Get your bearings. Get your bearings. Steady, get your bearings. There you go. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Come back again, please. Just uh, don't lie on your back. Oh, that's the first one for the season. That's quite early for it, too. First of July. But uh, yeah, could be a long winter if they're starting that. Especially on a day like today. But anyway, these are the triplets. I'm coming here to um, to push them to the meal troughs again. I um, forgot the camera yesterday afternoon, so um, yeah, coming down on a lovely Saturday. She's a wee bit fresh, but uh, very fresh actually. The sun was poked out a wee bit earlier, but um, not for long. It obviously got cold too and had. But I know she's up, that's good. She's nearly nearly joining the mob. Um, and uh, yeah, dogs in the thriller this time. More control over them. So I'll go put some meal out and yeah, get going. Yeah. Right, you stay there, baby girl. Get my helper with me. And the other one, and the bosses. Oh, they've cleaned the troughs out. That's good. I didn't fill them up last night because uh, there was no point, but still had a bit left. But yeah, they're keen for it, they're coming. They're running. They're running. That's good, 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 good. That's a good sign. Set you up here. Hopefully the dogs won't annoy it too much. As you can see, they came running to it. Now they're heading away because they're scared of me. And uh, yeah, my wee farm helper. But um, yeah, I'll soon get I'll soon get the head dog around that show up. Jed, 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 back, back. Yeah. So I put the rest of that uh, bag in. So there's the uh, two thirds in the trough. So um, yeah, if they're going to get that, I might have to bring two bags down tomorrow and a couple of more troughs. <laughs> Stay there. What are you doing, Jed? Back, go, Jed. 
Back! Gadget! They're coming, they're coming. Yeah. Sweet Pea is playing with the nuts. She, uh, when we're back home in Ireland, she, uh, she was feeding the ewes every day with me and Grandpa. Loving life, feeding lambs too, so. Yeah, I think this winter I might, might need to keep a couple of pet lambs maybe. Or a calf, I'd rather have a calf. Maybe a dairy calf so I could have a house cow. Now that'd be a good option. But then I suppose I'll have to milk it twice a day. I haven't milked for three years. Don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> anyway, they're coming. And uh, yeah, I'll get out of the road. They've nearly finished that other trough already, so. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna come to you, baby girl. Yeah, I'll get out of the road so they can come because they're not pets like at home. Home, home, even. Yeah, I still get mixed up in home and home. Ireland, I call home, home. Here, home. There, home. You know? I think they're pretty keen. Back to the question earlier though. How many do you think were triplets last year as four-year-olds? Because it took a lot longer last year to get them all of the nuts like that, so didn't it? That's for sure. Yeah. It'd be interesting, but yeah. Any of you people who have EID tags and keeping records and stuff like that, you can tell me that now. But yeah. And I get out of the road, let them have their have their have their sweeties and peace and put the dogs away. Hey baby girl. Yeah. Cause I'm getting hungry and cold and the fire's on at home, so I'd rather sit in front of that than stand here talking. Jed's keep a, keeping a watchful light, making sure they don't go past him. Good boy. Good boy, good boy. Come on. Yeah, no. Wish she might get all that. Does he? All right, we are Sunday morning. And what a beautiful morning she is. That's me being sarcastic, by the way. She is rough. At least we don't have snow. Don't really get snow here, but other places have, but she's cold. She was a stormy night again, rain. This is another like nearly 10 middle of rain or something. Things are wet. You can see the troughs here, they're starting to make a mess. So um, yeah, I'm gonna shift them a bit further down the line. Yeah, we're mid-morning. They've cleared the troughs out. So I've brought a bag with them. Um, these are Reading the bag because I forgot how much they were due per per animal. It's 200, 200 grams per you pretty much of triplet nuts, um, and uh, that's NRM. Or N, N, R, N, NRM um, sheep triplet nuts. There's 105 ewes here, so that's within the thing. If they're eating it, they're eating it, and uh, yeah, basically a bag a day then pretty much to these old girls. They're coming. They're coming. But yeah, we last year got had an apple so we're out here, got the dogs doing these. Yeah, <laughs> and the boss man on the back of the bike too. Then I will ship these troughs, get the meal out, and then pretty much leave these alone because I think they'll come themselves. I've got the dogs tied to the fence, but yeah, I would say they'll be fine and come themselves. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed.
Obviously, these ones are the regulars, but these ones aren't. So I'll pretty much have to race around them, otherwise these girls will gorge themselves. Lamb all the trippets and the flats here. So well, basically there and on the knob and landscape and stuff and yeah, um, want a bit of cover, especially if it turns into a wet winter. Like last year, I had a bit of cover on the far side and now I didn't have any trouble there. The hoggets were or the trippets were going on nearly 25, 22, nearly. So um, yeah, it was good cover. Kept growing a bit and uh, when it's too short, then it just makes a mess and it. The, the, the muddy the grass up and then the old data harder to grow back and stuff. So, yeah, they'll probably come into here. Nice lush grass here and just clip it off quickly over the flats until I spread them out to lamb. Them girls will be due to lamb in the next um, end of, end. Them girls will be due to lamb in the end of July pretty much. Um, yeah, um, they'll be. Uh, they'll, um, yeah, probably the, the last week in July they'll start, it was end like last year, so yeah. Then I, that's me done for the day, so well, that's me done for the morning. I'm going back to the fire and a hot coffee. I think these boys will be glad too to get up into the orchard for a bit of shelter and stretch your legs. Hey boys, I'll get you off the fence. Alright, down here, put my dogs away and stuff. Thought I'd come and check them, check my trippers to see, um, what they've done and 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 they have cleared the trough out so they have all nicely licked pretty much clean so that's good oh well these ones here are uh, are happy there's no point pushing them up to um to the troughs because they're not being you know they'll be pushing up for nothing because there's no meal there they've had their uh They've had their max for the day of 200 grams each and um, an average over the whole thing. But uh, yeah, but I'm rambling here. It's night time. It's dark, getting dark. And I want to get the dogs done because I don't have a light. And it's quite hard to feed dogs in the dark with no lights. Yeah, even though we ate my carrots. Now, I was always told to eat my carrots because I'll see it night time. I ate a lot of carrots, but uh, yeah. It's not like night vision goggles anyway that I have, but I can still see a wee bit, but you kind of need a bit of a help from the moon and stuff like that. Anyway, carry on. I'm rambling too much. You'll be getting bored. Catch us the next one. Stay safe. Be good.